Leukemia is a form of blood cancer uh, and it predominantly affects the uh, cells within our bone marrow that are responsible for producing uh, the white cells which people commonly associate with cells that fight infection. What tends to happen is that the, um, the, cell, the stem cells within a patient's bone marrow that are responsible for producing and replenishing the uh, white cells within our blood become abnormal and cancerous. And ultimately what that does is it results in those cells then, if you like, taking over the patient's uh, bone marrow to the point where their bone marrow can no longer uh, function properly. And so the other cells that are necessary uh, within our uh, blood system, uh, such as our red cells and our platelets, um, are no longer produced in adequate numbers. And so that's when uh, patients tend to present when they become symptomatic, either through breathlessness or through bruising. My role at the University Hospital of Birmingham, Queen Elizabeth, is that uh, I'm a clinical lecturer in haematology. Um, essentially what that means is that I split my time, uh, half my time is spent doing clinical research, and this is uh, mostly involved in providing and delivering early phase clinical trials, assessing new novel therapies to treat patients with leukemia. And also um, I have an interest in looking at the genetic abnormalities uh, which underlie uh, the development of leukemia and also um, dictate uh, the patient, individual patient's response to treatment. Um, the other half of my time is spent doing purely uh, clinical work uh, within the Department of Hematology, uh, looking after patients with uh, leukemia and other blood cancers, as well as other general uh, hematological disorders.